welcome to our channel. In this video, we will discuss some myths about Canadian immigration. My name is Leo Mirgon Calves and I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant here at TVS Immigration. Our mission is to provide you with valuable tips and updates regarding Canadian immigration as well as to assist you to become a successful immigrant in Canada. If you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media. Many of the myths that we are going to mention have mislead people and made them drop such a huge chance to migrate to Canada. This is why you must know these myths before you start your plan or apply to a visa, so you know what steps to take and what exactly to expect. Number one, immigrants bring crime to Canada. According to the International Center for Criminal Law Reform and Criminal Justice Policy, immigrants are much less involved in criminal activity than those who are born in Canada. Immigrants looking to start their lives in Canada pose very little risk to Canada's security. When arriving in Canada, newcomers are looking to find security for themselves and their families, seeking protection for atrocities and hardship experienced by treats from their homeland. It's highly unfounded and no evidential statement to suggest that they are the most responsible for a crime in your country. Number two. International trained professionals are not as qualified as Canadian professionals. Approximately 40% of professionals who have trained abroad in a particular field and then immigrate to Canada are working in the same field in Canada. Some professionals have to undergo rigorous training and additional accreditation before they can work in their choose profession in Canada. It's important to know that foreign trained professionals sometimes need to have their credentials reviewed by accredited Canadian assessment bodies to be employed in their field. Number three, I can be a Canadian permanent resident by buying a property in Canada. At this time, there is no immigration program attached to buying properties in Canada. As a result, you may not immigrate to Canada by purchasing a residential, commercial or industrial property alone. Number four, I do not need an IELTS exam to immigrate to Canada as an investor. No entirely accurate. In order for you to meet the immigration requirements regarding language proficiency, you can choose between the IELTS general training or CELPIP for English exams or the TEF or TCF for the French exams. Number five, I can apply for startup visa in Canada even if the business idea is not genuine. When talking about the Canada Startup Visa program, the idea must be genuine. That means that the business idea must be innovative. It must show how it can create jobs for Canadians and compete on a global scale. Even though the financial investment is so important, the business idea itself must match the program requirements. Hope you enjoy our information. Don't forget to leave your questions and comments below. The Visa Group specializing in all the steps you need to be successful in your immigration plan. Education, visa, immigration, career, and financial planning. See you in the next video.